Yeah, I know this is from like three hours ago, but I kind of needed another topic and I do like this player a lot. So we're going to be making a video talking about the Buffalo Sabres and one of their top prospects from the 2020 NHL draft. Jack Quinn, not to be confused with Jack Hughes or Quinn Hughes or Luke Hughes or the other Jack Hughes, has been named the AHL's Rookie of the Year as he led the entire American Hockey League in rookie points per game. This is the profile here of Jack Quinn in his overall production. Let's move this over to the side. We're going to have to do a lot of that because a lot of these websites are not focused in the same way. But Jack Quinn, 20 years old, 6 feet 176 as a right-handed forward who plays on both wings, was drafted 8th overall by the Sabres in the 2020 NHL Draft. I personally was really skeptical of taking Quinn this high. The reason was because on the board also available were two of the top OHL guys that we had seen in a very long time in both Marco Rossi and Cole Perfetti. Nothing against Quinn, I liked Quinn, and I made a video talking about Jack Quinn and his overall profile, what made him such a potent goal scorer at the OHL level, but I just felt personally that these two, and I guess you could say Askarov and maybe Lundell as well, were more valuable pickups because of the skills they had. Marco Rossi Maybe could have been that. It's just the guy had the virus and he almost died, so it's very unfortunate to see that he had to go through that. Good thing he's healthy now, though. But Jack Quinn was taken above his own teammate in Rossi, one pick earlier to the Buffalo Sabres. Now, Quinn, back in this season, was a pretty good goal scorer, 52 goals in 62 games played. He spent some time with the Rochester Americans the next season, getting 9 points in 15 games, but this season, after playing a cup of coffee with the Sabres, getting 2 points in 2 games, his full-on AHL campaign was good enough to get him the Rookie of the Year award. 59 points, 44 games played, 25 goals and 34 assists. You could go out there and watch a lot of Rochester Americans games and see just how good some of these plays had been. It was really Jack Quinn and J.J. Paterka who were really feeding off of each other in a great way. Paterka also was a rookie, but he played a significantly higher amount of games played than Quinn, so Quinn had the edge in points per game. Therefore, when it came down to the voting, a lot of the guys that were deciding the award were like, okay, well, I vote for Quinn instead. But J.J. Paterka, I honestly feel like he's a little bit more of a dynamic play driving forward than Quinn is. Quinn's a lot more of a finisher, in my opinion. So when you're taking a look at both of these guys and seeing how good they've been as rookies in the American Hockey League, it's not a contest of who's better and how you're going to degrade one of them because the other is better. No, you're just going to say, okay, you have two good guys, very good prospects here, suiting up for the Sabres next year. As we noted, Quinn did have two points in the two games he had in Buffalo, but if you go over back to the Sabres article that they write over here and you read what it is that is said about Jack Quinn, he was previously named to the AHL's All-Rookie Team alongside fellow Sabres prospect J.J. Paterka on Wednesday. He was recognized as the AHL's Rookie of the Month in October. He is tied with Paterka for third among AHL rookies with 25 goals, and he ranks fourth with 59 points, despite being limited to just 44 games due to a bout of mononucleosis and a lower body injury. The Sabres selected Quinn during the first round of the draft, yada yada yada. Here are the quotes that are said by Quinn. He felt he had to give more entering this season, a message he relayed to Sabres coach Don Granado and GM Kevin Adams upon being sent to the Amherst at the end of training camp. He looked at both of us and he said, I'm okay with going down in one sense. I played below the standard I believe I can play in the AHL, and I feel like I need to go back there and prove myself that I can play better in that league, Granado said about Quinn in November. His immediate response was, I still have some unfinished business down there. That's how he went down there looking at that. That's exactly why we drafted him and picked him and why we enjoy having him in our organization. He's like a homing torpedo. Wow, that's a great way to describe somebody. Following up is an entire summary of his season and all the stuff that he had done. The Sabres have opted to let Quinn and Paterka finish their seasons as part of the Amherst playoff push. The Amherst can clinch a postseason berth with a win in their final regular season game against Utica on Friday, combined with a regulation loss by the Marlies on Saturday. Those guys are battling in really meaningful and competitive games, Granado said Thursday. They're in it every night. I mean, they're key guys on a team, and the opposing team is trying to shut those two down with everything they can do. That's great for them, and great for us. I've said this a ton, but I've got a lot of Sabres fans that come into these videos and check out on what I'm talking about when it comes to their prospects, because they're very happy to see the development of these guys. And for sure, I am as well. I've been kind of on that, okay, when the heck is Buffalo going to get good again train for years. 
even going back to when Darlene was drafted, I was like, okay, you guys got Connor Sherry, Casey Middlestad, Rasmus Darlene. You guys are going to be great next season, but it didn't happen. Then you traded away Eichel and things sort of got better for some reason after that. But now with Jack Quinn doing the things that he is doing, Devin Levi doing as well as he's been doing in the NCAA, you still have the young guys on the team that are making an impact like Dylan Cousins, like Peyton Krebs, the WHL boys. There's a lot to look forward here in Buffalo, and when it comes to Quinn and his partnership with J.J. Paterka, there certainly is a lot more to be excited for when you focus on the AHL and see what those guys are doing over there. It also is kind of funny, because when it comes to Jack Quinn winning this award, AHL Rookie of the Year, there have been a few Sabres guys who did win this award in the past. Nathan Gerby won this award, so did who the heck else was it? Luke Adam? That guy was super hyped up as well, and then... Tyler Ennis, I believe. Yeah, so some of those guys were pretty good NHL players, and for Jack Quinn to be the next in line, I guess you could say that his name is probably going to have some NHL impact soon as well. But of course, you know, he's an eighth overall pick, so you kind of want that. You expect that out of guys that are being drafted as high as they had been. But let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Jack Quinn and the season that he has had in the AHL. Are you proud of this guy? Have you seen any Rochester Americans games? I personally have not really tuned into too much, but just seeing the numbers and seeing some of the clips that I have been seeing here and there, it's good to see him transition from the OHL to the AHL in such a fluid way as he has done in 21-22. So, let me know in the comments all your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Charles 9 and bye.